Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will learn about compression in Power Automate desktop. So please watch this video till then so that you can understand it completely. And if you have not subscribed my YouTube channel, please subscribe it. So let's get started. In Power Automate desktop, under the compression, you have zip files. And with this action, what you can do is you can compress one or more files or folders into a zip archive, right? And here you can see that here you have to specify the path where you want to compress the files. And you have to also specify which files you want to compress, right? And here you have to choose the compression level. So there are multiple options for example you can choose none or you can choose best speed right so by default is best balance of speed and compression and when you move your mouse over this little icon it says that the level of compression to use the higher the compression the smaller the file so it takes longer to create or access right so you need to choose this option accordingly and if you want to apply some passwords on your compressed file, you can do that as well. And if you want to add some comment, that also can be specified here. And once you have compressed that file, the zip file will have that uh, file stored in the zip file variable. Zip file will have that compressed file right and when you click on on error property here you have options to retry this action you can specify the number of times you want to retry and you can specify the interval on which you want to retry this action and when you click on new rule you can set the variable so when this action fails this variable will be set with the value that you will specify and if you want to run a subflow, you can choose that as well in order to invoke another subflow when this action is failed. The next option will be continue flow run. So here you have uh, three options available. So if this action fails, which means zip files action fails, then you can choose go to next action, which means it will not abort the execution of the bot. It will go to the next action. And if you want to repeat this action, you can choose this, which means it will continue repeating this action so as long as so the error continues to occur. Then you have go to label where you'll have to choose the label. But because we did not specify any label in our flow, you don't have any to choose from. But you can declare one and choose it from here as per your requirement but the by default it is selected as a throw error which means when this action fails it will abort the execution so if you write any other action after the zip files that will not be executed in case zip files action fails right then i will click on return to parameters right and then i will click on cancel reason behind that is i want to show the file which i'm going to work on i have a folder on desktop which is named as doc underscore one and it has three files file underscore one file underscore one copy right so these four files i have and what i want to do is i want to compress these files i want to zip these files right so for that what i will do is i will go to the files I'll go to the file section and from here we have uh, sorry I will go to the folder action and here we have get files in folder right and from here I will click on this select folder here I have chosen the path of the folder from where we want to get all the files and here you have to specify the file filter so if you move your mouse over this I icon it says that choose a filter to limit the files retrieved so you can put a filter for example if you want just 
files with .txt extension so you can put a star dot txt which means file name can be anything but the extension must be dot txt so because in my case the folder is having all dot txt files so i will not go i'm not going to put any filter but if you want to put for example let's say you have xls xlsx file let's say if you have dot xlsx file in that folder and if you want to filter only dot xlsx files in that case you can put star dot xlsx so in this case it will just retrieve all the excel files it will not retrieve any other file but in my case i just want to you know because my folder has only dot txt file so i will just put star which means it will give everything right and here you can choose this option to include subfolders which means if any subfolder is also inside doc underscore one that also will be included i will just disable it because i don't have any inside that and then the variable will have all the files retrieved then i will click on save so the files variable files is a list data type so when, when I will run this bot, you will see that you will see that it has all files. You can see the data type of this files variable is list of files. Okay, so I can click on close. Now all the files are stored in the files variable, right? now i will go to the zip files and here i will specify the path and here i will specify the name of the file right so which is for example um, zipped files dot zip and then here i will choose the variable which is files because files variable is having list of files right and this is why we have used get files in folder so that we can retrieve all the files available in that specific folder and then i will click on save now when i will run the bot you will see that first it will retrieve all the files from doc underscore one and store it in the files list data type variable and then it will zip that files i will run the bot you can see that bot has been able to execute both the actions completely now i will go to the file explorer i will go to the desktop and here you can see it has zipped underscore files and inside zipped underscore files you can see all the files are available right and like this if i use unzip files in that case i'll have to specify the path of that zipped underscore files dot zip i've chosen the path and where i want to retrieve it so let's say I want to retrieve it in on the desktop and then I will click on save. I will just right click on it and then I will say run from here. This action is executed successfully. I'll go to the desktop. And here you can see it has unzipped that zipped underscore files right so this is how you can use get files in folder action in power automate desktop and also along with that you can use zip files and unzip files to zip and unzip the files or folder so if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day